Curing your child's disease at any cost is a promise not a lot of parents are in a position to make. Tracy Smith introduces us to a couple who are determined to give it their all. From the looks of it, the McDowell family has it made. Horses. Come on, boy. They have a beautiful home with a front lawn big enough to keep horses on a secluded street in Pebble Beach, one of the prettiest and priciest spots on the Northern California coast. Hey, Dex. But what the McDowells really want to buy now is a cure for their son's cancer. Grits, come here. How much of a difference does money make in this fight? Well, sadly, it's all about money. The thing is, money hasn't really been a problem of late. Ryder and Victoria McDowell, who were married in 1991, made a fortune together with home health products like Airborne Immunity Boost and Pine Brothers Cough Drops. And their real riches came in 2000, when Victoria gave birth to a son, Errol, and eight years later to twin boys, Mac and Piers. For a time, it seemed that the McDowells had everything. We used to say, wow, we're almost too lucky. This is almost feels like the boom is going to drop on this. And then, as you put it, then the boom dropped? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Five years ago, Errol, now 18, was diagnosed with medulloblastoma, a rare brain cancer. Surgery and chemo chased it away for a while. Now it's back. But Errol is optimistic. I'm very blessed. And, uh, you know, every, every day I think I'm unlucky because of the cancer. I have to remind myself that I'm very lucky because, you know, I have the, the means to, to kill it. The key word here is means. For instance, when the McDowells heard about something called anti-CD47, a promising new treatment that wasn't yet available, they were able to offer $10 million to anyone who could legally provide it for Errol and any other kid with brain cancer. Did somebody take you up on it? Somebody did, and they were so gracious that they didn't want the $10 million. So what happened to the $10 million? You still have it? Yeah. <laughs> You're sitting in it. You know, this would have been this. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. The anti-CD47 wasn't the silver bullet the McDonald's were hoping for, but they're convinced that Errol's cure might still be just a few dollars away, and they could be right, says Dr. Nalan Gupta of UCSF's Benioff Children's Hospital. Can a cancer be cured if we throw enough money at it? I think we can, and I think we can accomplish that with some realistic expectations of what the goals are. And right now, the McDowell's goal is more money. They've assembled a team of doctors and researchers and publicly asked Jeff Bezos, the billionaire founder of Amazon, for a $250 million loan to fund an all-out effort. The $250 million would be used specifically for pediatric brain cancer research to cure pediatric brain cancer. We could fix that with $250 million. That $250 million answers a lot of questions, and that's when I say that, you know, ultimately the money gives you more options, but the money is not a cure. It's hope. It's hope. The McDowell's hope has a new urgency. Since his relapse, doctors say Errol's chance of long-term survival has plunged from 85 percent to around 10. Do you allow yourselves to think that you could raise all this money and it might not make a difference in his case? No. If we go there, we're lost. We have to keep going forward. And if we could change place, places with him, we would, you know. So do you still consider yourself lucky? Oh, yeah. Don't you? Yes. We still have our three boys. Errol's still here.